yeah, there, there's still a lot of stuff to go over with this, with this, uh, all this new info for Rebirth. So yesterday we broke down the trailer and all the little story bits, stuff like that they showed at the beginning state of play. Now I want to break down and re uh, rewatch for the 100th time or second time, really. Um, the gameplay and the second part of the state of play where they showed like all the extra stuff and, and, and all that stuff. So let's just uh, jump into that one and uh, let's do it. There's a lot of stuff here too. So there's going to be lots of pausing. Might be a bit of a long video. Here we get to see uh, Shinra's perspective of, of them escaping and everything. Let's look closer to these monitors real quick and see what's going on here. Like, what do they see? Yeah, it looks like they're just watching them walk out or maybe, maybe make their way to the, the truck and the motorcycle. The hardy Daytona. And they see the wind, but they do not see the whispers. Interesting. But Rufus can see the whispers. So, there's that. Sephiroth. Sephiroth is casually floating down. Nothing crazy. No big deal. Hmm. I'm waiting, Cloud. So are we. Dude, I never noticed that. You can see the hair on Sephiroth's nose. Look at that. You can see the individual little hairs on his nose. Right here. That's actually crazy. I, I never noticed that before. Fast and very. So here we have a look at the map. Uh, a few th things to note is we have, a, I guess, Fog of War, I think is what they call it. Uh, in God of War, I think. I'm really sure. It's all blocked off. So this up here is where Rocket Town should be, uh, Wu Tai and all that. I actually have a map. Let me pull it up real quick so we can compare to see what exactly is missing. All right, so here we have all of this, right? Uh, I'm gonna put this over here because we all this we know this is Midgar. We got Junon, the Chocobo area, Mid uh, Midgar again, uh, Calm, and all that. So if we look here, this map, it looks like all we see on this map right here is Rocket Town. Nibelheim's like right around through here. Uh, Wu Tai is like back here on the other side of this globe, which is kind of crazy if you think about it it's pretty massive right uh, and then you got the the icicle in up here sage's house even further up through here it should be like the goblin island forgotten capital that should oh that should be like right around through here areas then you got down here i think nice round should be up here probably in that little spot i imagine put the back up here real quick uh and then down here i imagine where this fog stuff is down here on this very very bottom corner uh it's probably where medeal is which i don't believe we'll go to in part two we'll probably see medeal uh looks like i guess rocket down too and Wu Tai, and and icicle in and all that in part three so wanted to point that out multiple regions all seamlessly interconnected whoops the grasslands the grasslands see uh, if you look here too you can actually it's all and it's uncovered here so yeah you got yeah rocket town just it curves right up through here it looks like even further up forgotten capital should be like around through here actually and then the chocobo sage house and all that's even further up north so we're only, we're only seeing a part of the world like there's still so much stuff that's like around here that we haven't seen yet here we have Junon, I guess, where the shops and everything is. We got the Grand Hotel at Junon, the restaurants. Uh, I don't see anybody from the party in here. We know we can get people from our party in here. We got a Rufus Shinra poster. Um, I'm not sure what those posters are. I can't really tell. It looks like it says Berserk, but oh, that probably doesn't. That's probably not what that says. Junon Materia shop, maybe? There's a Shinra 8. The new the new ship that is not is not the the cargo ship anymore it is a party boat oh you can actually look you can see them where they get off and then come down that's cool <laughs> so that means this thing's just kind of chilling here just randomly kind of dangerous the kids just jumping up there and diving off into the water or trying to make it to the water uh here we have gold saucer again and then if you look up here uh, our waypoint actually says the keystone's whereabouts so it looks like we will be uh, coming back to get the keystone from Dio. 
and then have the whole thing happen with uh k sith so that'll be interesting I, I like how the gold saucer one uh, is not gold outside which is weird two in the og i always thought that it was weird the gold saucer looked like a giant plant coming out of the desert i never really understood what the heck that was but now it makes sense and i can see it better and it looks like they're they've built it into the mountain a little bit so that, that's kind of cool the gold saucer here gives me final fantasy 14 gold saucer vibes there's the battle square that's cool then gaga there's a broken down reactor there's some houses they look like little cots or uh, uh um uh, not cots they don't look like actual houses they look different than than houses obviously i don't i don't know what we would call these there's an enemy down here that's like one of the like, little insect things because uh, we see like all the chocobos too which is pretty cool we could see it, all of them showcased the local mako reactor uh anything here so in here should be the huge materia that well not no, it's not there but it's what it's where um Scarlet come looking for and we see a scene later on that we'll touch on in a moment that where it's where Tifa gets knocked into the water and there's little well things that I thought could be a reference to sin from tin uh that's where those things are I think it's what it's what it seems like at the moment anyway so here uh we have this little the flying chocobo with the mini games I guess these are what these are or maybe you can go on these and they keep you afloat uh, I'm not really sure, but it looks like this one down here, this, this little platforms where you go up to to get shot up in the air to kind of glide around. I think That's what it looks like. You got some little structures here and there. You got this. I guess you can maybe jump up here. There's a lot, lots of lots and lots and lots of traversal stuff, which is sick. I still can't get over how big the, the world is. There's the entrance to Cosmic Canyon, the bridge, then the actual entrance. And we've got all this stuff up here, right up here. I mean, I wish it, I wish it let us see the planetarium from the outside. I don't think we've seen it yet in any shots. I'm so excited for Cosmic Canyon. Nibelheim. We've been here in the demo a little bit. Oh man, we better fight Lost Number in here. If we don't fight Lost Number in here, I'm going to be upset. At least fight him. Maybe not in here, but somewhere. Because before in OG, you had to fight Lost Number, I believe, to get the key to get into Vince's room. So I hope that's still in some way uh, around. So the Tiny Bronco in the OG game, I don't know if this is always the case, but I always thought the Tiny Bronco was like the aqua boats that could be on land and water. And they shot the wing off or shot, broke it, I guess, when they were shooting at it and it broke. So now it's just an aqua vehicle. So that's what it looks like down here because they have the giant like big floaty devices where the they can land on water and take off from water where it doesn't have to be on land and we've got the Junon cannon midgar here in the back you can actually see one of the one of the reactors right there so this doesn't actually unlock the fog on the map it just gives you locations to go to that i'm i'm hoping that once you do all the locations it will unlock all the fog and you don't have to like travel to to unlock all the fog because that would take forever i feel like so maybe once you complete like the the grasslands area and get all the like the five out of five and everything done it'll just unlock everything that you haven't explored hopefully mooglets you got voila mululu is that a final fantasy 10 reference to lulu and her little mog i think so moki moog you may also come across centuries. This this right here gives me Final Fantasy X uh, vibes whenever Yuna goes into her uh, her little trials that she does. I don't know why, but that's I get that vibe from from this. Also, why is he out just in a, in the open chilling like that? I'm like what? I want to see if you can actually see him before. Okay, no, he's not just chilling there. So this is sick. I need please make these toys and make them at Walmart or uh, not just on a store. I would love to have these. Look at, oh my God, do you see Tifa's legs? They're so tiny. Look how thin they are. That's funny. So poor Condor's back, which is so good. I'm so happy that they brought this back because this was my favorite part of intermission. I loved playing Port Condor. I think I like this. I'm going to like this again well, more than Queen's Blood. I'm not big on card games. Don't hate me, but I don't like Triple Triad too much. So Queen's Blood doesn't really appeal to me too much, but I'm down to try it. Maybe this will be the one, but for Condor coming back, it's a big deal. I'm super excited for that. And we get the guys back from uh, Avalanche. Are we going back to Midgar or are they going to be in Cosmic Canyon? Because it kind of looks like they're, going to be, they're in Cosmic Canyon a little bit in this thing. So this, I th that looks like Gilgamesh, but I'm not really sure. 
I think it is him actually because he's got the markings and stuff too. So what? <laughs> what is happening here? I don't know what's, what this is about. We got little treasure treasure maps to search for and stuff. Dive into the regions of the world and the crazy characters who inhabit them. As a merc, want to hunt chickens? <laughs> okay, so here we have this. So we have Aerith, Barrett, Kate, Sith, Cloud, Yuffie, Tifa, and Red. So everybody but but Vincent and Sid. I didn't see this before. Why are the two Johnnies here? What is that about? And is that Kyrie's desk? Odd jobs boasts a unique size oh, well, oh, I was like, well, it's two Tifas, but no, that's just, that's Tifa. And it's, he has a green leaf in his hair. Does the other one have a green leaf in his hair? He does not. One of these odd jobs Interesting. Side story. Some, like Whoa, hey, bro. Also, there's a sign here that says, Deep Dive into the Emerald Sea. Uh, and that is a silhouette of emerald weapon. Let me just pull that up real quick. It even has the flowers and the red thing in the middle. The other material with the red flower, the two yellow flowers on the inside, and the two blue things on the outside. Emerald weapon. In the demo, there's also one for uh, ruby weapon uh, as well. They're, they're, they're hinting and they're referencing to the weapons. So that's two. So we still have ultimate, diamond, and... Uh, sapphire weapon look for those around because I, I guarantee you they probably won't be directly in part three some might be hopefully the two do two and then do others in part three so we don't like burn them all in the first you know right now uh, but they're here they're referencing them and so they're acknowledging that they do exist oh there's there's ruby right there perfect there's ruby weapon right there so uh tifa is surrounded by the weapons for some reason so what the heck's happening there? So maybe maybe in, in Rebirth, we only fight Ruby and Emerald. And maybe in Re3, we fight uh, Diamond and Sapphire. Or Ultimate and Sapphire. Because I, th I don't think Diamond makes it. I, th I think Diamond's the one that actually gets got by the uh, cannon. I don't know what this is. Was this in the OG game? Because I don't remember any kind of like thing like this around. This is like Star Fox. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> Red's playing soccer. Look, yeah, if you look here, there's a team. Of, there's Red's team. There's a yellow team of chocobos, a blue team of just dogs, and a black team of the uh, the Shinra hounds. This is straight out of 14. <laughs> That's crazy. I can't believe that, they're, that they actually did it. I'm, I'm so happy. Oh, there's there's Barrett in the background there. There's Barrett, Aerith. Oh, wait, so Barrett's only dressed up. Aerith and Tifa aren't dressed up in uh, any outfits here. So Barrett's just, hey, Barrett's just, he's living his life as a, as a sailor. Here is the forest. Look at the trees, man. The trees. So in the OG game, I, I assume this is Sleeping Forest, by the way. I'm not, it's not confirmed or anything. I'm just, just assuming. It's kind of what it looks like. Like it's got the same like glow, live stream glow to it. They just added like live stream cracks and stuff on the trees to make it more aesthetic, which looks pretty sick. There's those sin like monsters. Uh, Tifa should be in here somewhere, maybe, possibly. I'm not really sure if this is before or after, but. Uh, she does. We've seen it in the trailer before. She actually does get eaten by them. By them. Look at this, man. Look at that. There's so much stuff here. It's like a call seam up here. It looks like. I'm not really sure what that could be. Looks like there's a bridge that goes up to it and down. So maybe we can actually go up there and see what that's about. Oh, so many twists and turns and stuff. And of course, you know, whispers are here, which means, oh boy's here. Okay, so in my last video, I saw this guy. We talked to him. I thought this was Gene Attack. I was wrong because apparently I missed this part of the state of play. I don't know if I, I don't I don't know how I missed this. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but there is this. We see K Sith. I think that's Aerith. This is the whole party's here. Red Barrett. I assume Cloud Tifa's over here somewhere. Uh, he's taking us on a uh, adventure to somewhere. I, I assume he's gonna be a important person maybe he's an ancient and he's explaining things to us because uh, he does mention the black materia in a previous trailer or in in the, the in yesterday's video uh, but he's not gene attack so we see him in a moment yep yeah, see there he is right there so there's gene attack he looks sick oh wait those are like little uh do you see that little little things they used to be in the og game it was just little little spirit fires they would summon up that you would have to uh kill now Actually, these things have the same teeth that Genova has. Those things look very similar to Genova. They have bottom teeth, though. But that's that's kind of neat. They have the same tusks and, and the eyes and stuff. Huh. We don't really know anything about the, the G tribe. Like, we know like, a little bit about them, that they just tried to invade Cosmic Canyon and, and, and they, they were thwarted and stuff. Also, look at Barrett's little bar here. 
Well, two things here. One, Cloud Storm to be found. This is just a Barret and Red fight, which is interesting. And two, uh, he has debuffs on him, it looks like, or buffs. I, I'm not really sure what these could be. I know in the OG game that the, that the little spirit fires went inside of you, you would take fire damage uh, every turn, I believe. Maybe that's that, but just changed a little bit to make it more difficult and make it more modern. But yeah, that was just Barret and Red here. Because Cosmic Canyon is a very, it was a very red area. And once we beat it, we, he becomes Zaniki. But Barret is also very prevalent in Cosmic Canyon because that's where Avalanche was formed. And that's where he, or not formed, but that's where he and Biggs, Jesse and Wedge wanted to, you know, beat by the campfire. Do that's, that's a whole thing. So Barret is also pretty tied into Cosmic Canyon as well. What in the H is it? This is Gon Gaga. It looks like we're in the reactor area again. And we have Kate Sith this time. Um, let's see if I can see what this is. Is this some kind of chimera or another like sample fight? Looks like it could be another sample fight or something similar to it. Cause this got a giant neck, a, a claw or a pincer and then another hand over here. So I'm not really sure what this could be. Like, there's a head there as well. So this is some kind of like mutated monster. This is probably uh, a new enemy. And this is a bird. It's a plane. That's like maybe a zoo or one of the thunder enemies in the Cosmic Canyon area. Okay, also in the last trailer, um, it looks like Cloud's going to attack Tifa here. And it seems that he's under someone's control. Obviously, probably Sephiroth because there's whispers around. And uh, the, you can see the soldiers' dead bodies in the last trailer. It didn't show any context how they got there or whatever. Now it's showing them how they got there. But here, this is really cool. This is a sweet scene. Hey, look, he's so smug and, and, and this is not Cloud, obviously. So uh, he is not himself. He's being controlled. Oh, there they are. There's Tifa and Cloud and Aerith and their little outfits. Uh, we got Rufus, the High Wind. Also, yeah, you can actually see the, the, the graffiti of the High Wind up there. Singers, I wonder if Jessie's on this wall. I bet she is. I, I wonder if there's a way to just make everybody happy and have a default like just a default date at the gold saucer i wonder if you can do that and if you can i wonder who the default date is is it Aerith or is it going to be tifa everybody's symbols are different colors oh because of the happiness gauge Aerith and tifa are maxed out barrett is not very friendly with cloud k sith is just a cat <laughs> with a crown over it you can't even see he, i don't guess he has a meter i don't guess his friendship matters i don't know that's weird unless it's just all zero so you got level one level two level four and then those two are maxed out and k sith is just there who do you want to take on a date that, that wasn't in the og game andrea madam m corneo <laughs> imagine oh look i just realized that's actually like a tube looking thing so i wonder if you like walk through it almost like the aquariums you walk through that like it's like yeah before an og game it was like a slide almost and you just kind of popped in and out we got a sphere grid final fantasy 10 just sick i don't think i've we've shown this one yet but th that is a uh so it's called a crown lance boom there's that crown lance cool Of your team to fit the situation or even your mood there's a little little penguin guys every possible party combination has its own unique synergy commands wait a minute t fang won't do that and just get away with it every and wait a minute parts own guys what are we doing here is she she's literally recreating that statue that everybody was like freaking out over. She's doing the pose right there. Come on. And Yuffie's little doppelgangers fight with her. I thought it was just gonna be like something you threw down and it caused the enemies to aggro toward it, but no, they actually attack with her. <laughs> this is so funny. That's a sandworm. So yeah, right there, boom. I was gonna say, I was literally about to say this, the demo. Uh, one thing is they traded out the well, that's a terrifying image uh, They traded out the dragon fight in the OG game. They traded it out with this thing. There's two of them um, And these things are called Diablos in the demo. They're called something different. I believe but I I, I, I want to know why they got rid of the dragon fight I kind of feel like that we're going the party is going to fight the dragon instead of materia keeper now They're gonna like swap that out so because I still thought maybe the dragon would be here and MK would be later, but no, they replaced the dragon all together with the Diablos characters that were in uh, the OG game. These these guys right here. Like, guess that's what those guys are. So, I'm curious why they did that. Get demos great. They changed a few things uh, with the Shinra Manor, uh, like I said. 
uh, getting up to Mount Nebel is a bit different now, but other than that, the, the gameplay and playing playing Sephiroth and all that stuff, it's it's 10 out of 10. It's so good. Here it is, this scene. So look, you can see, they snuck this in here. Who do they think they are? You can see Red being dragged into Hojo's lap. So um, are we going to get a Red backstory on how he was captured? And are we going to see at some point, please let us see at some point, Indigo and Cobalt. Uh, they were uh, also part of Red Species, I believe, that uh, Shoujo had experimented on, I believe. It was like Cobalt 11 and and then and Indigo 12, I think, and Red 13. So, because he has a tattoo, but his tattoo, I believe, is separate from Sephiroth's tattoo. But yeah, th th this snuck in here and I was like, wait a minute, I'm not crazy, right? So I hope we get to see that. Yeah, there's Hojo right there, a little, little, little slimy son of a. Uh, but yeah, that's that's that. That's the breakdown. Sorry for the long video. Um, I know it's it's definitely a long one because we uh, broke down literally everything. But um, thanks for uh, thanks for watching this, hanging out. For more content uh, with Final Seven Rebirth, be sure to like, subscribe. I'll be covering this going forward uh, pretty extensively. Literally, I'm so excited for this. Check out this video for nope. Check out this video this side wherever it's at uh check out that video for more 57 content and i'll see you guys in the next video peace